That's for the intro. Okay, first off the bat, I do want to say that I am going to make this one a little bit shorter. Uh, I feel like they have been a little bit long. Um, and I also want to do next week or in the next couple of days a Q&A. So if you guys do have any interesting questions, chuck them down below. I'm going to also ask on my Instagram as well. So if you guys follow me on there, then that's cool as well. Okay, without further ado, let's jump straight in. Um, I want to talk today about focusing on the things that you can control. Um, and the reason that is, is because I, I, I say this quite a lot and it's also said in sport quite a lot. So it's, it's kind of something that really chimes with me and that, you know, I'm around that sort of idea um, with my training and my competition a lot. And um, I sort of take it for granted a little bit. And uh, in the last couple of weeks, I've been talking to a couple of people and I, I gave them a couple of bits of advice um, about focusing on the things you can control. So then I decided maybe I should make a video about it. And with every video that I choose to do, I always like to do a little bit of background research and see what other people have made, other YouTube videos, other articles and things like that. So I, I, I Google, I YouTube, I YouTubed it. And honestly, the videos that I found were crap. They were either these sort of like motivation, you know, the, you know those videos that like, they have a, a stock image of like a really beautiful scene, like someone on a swing or, you know, like a windows background and it's slowly zooming in or they have someone on the background being like, focus on being happy and choose to be positive because the more negative things you let into your life, the more the universe will send you negative all that stuff, which I think is such bullshit. <laughs> and the other types of videos are like sort of like businessmen and things like that being like, I focus on my, my 200,000 pound portfolio every year. And I, okay, fine. <laughs> I don't find that that relatable. So I wanted to make one that I felt would be useful. Following on from that, why am I telling you this piece of advice? Focus on the things you can control. First off, it's something that I find really useful, something that I use quite a lot and I refer back to um, quite frequently, especially when I'm in competitions and even in general life when I find things difficult. I'm gonna sneeze, I have the doors open, and my hay fever is killing me. It's also a really good way I find of staying in the moment. And I'm a huge fan of like living in the moment and being as like present as possible. I don't like to plan too much into the future, I feel like I don't like planning for things that I might not be here for or that might never take place. So I try and live in the moment. I think this is a really good piece of advice to bring you back to the moment and we'll talk about that later. It's also a really good process for dealing with stress and anxiety and, and worry. So that again is something that I really use it for and I find it really helpful to deal with. And we are going to talk about that now. But first I think we need to understand what is stress and worry? A broad way to define and sort of look at stress and anxiety and worry are when you focus on things that are either in the past that have happened or things in the future that haven't or might not or could happen. Let me give you an example of this. Take the past, for example. Stuff like, I shouldn't have said that thing that I said to that person, they're gonna be so annoyed at me. I'm worried about that. Or I haven't prepared correctly for this interview that I have or this competition and I'm so worried because, you know, I didn't put enough effort in over the past couple of months. Sound familiar? And things in the future such as, what if I do badly at this World Cup competition coming up? What if I don't get the job? Stuff like that. One thing that all of these things have in common is that they're all out of your control. Then, you know, the fact that you have said something, that's in the past, it's happened. You've got no control over that. Whether you win a World Cup, whether you nail that interview, they're all things that are out of your control, if you understand what I'm trying to say. There are steps that we can take to give ourselves the best possible chance of achieving those things. And that's exactly what we're going to talk about in focusing on the things that we can control. Because when we overanalyze and worry and stress about all those things that have happened or might happen, you're taking yourself out of the moment. You're not being present. You're thinking about the future or the past and you're over 
thinking and worrying about these things and and it can be such a source of stress you know i've been there i you know i've been there so much like what if i don't do this what if that happens what if my what does my future hold and you can't tell the future and worrying about it really doesn't help anything and it can be a really vicious cycle of worrying more you know, feeling bad about yourself and then actually it becoming a self-fulfilling prophecy that when you come up to the interview or the World Cup, you don't think you're going to do it. You've stressed so much that maybe you're in a bad position, your mind is not in the right place and you're feeling negative and, you know, you just don't feel like you can do it and then you don't do it and you think, shit, you know, I, you know, this is what I've been saying all along. Here, here we go. I, I knew this would happen. When in reality, maybe it didn't have to. But that's the thing, you don't know. You just need to, like, None of these things are in your control. Another one, another version of these is worrying about things that may or may not happen. And I'm a huge victim of this. I, I do this all the time. It's a good example for the kind of current time is, is, is this virus, this coronavirus, you know, worrying, what if I get it? Um, you know, and, and you know, how bad it will be if I do get it? What will happen if I get it? And again, these are things that haven't happened um, and, and you haven't got it yet, touch wood. And you're worrying already and your mind is running off with itself about what happens if you get it, how bad will it be, what will happen and what will it be like and you end up just basically stressing so much about something that hasn't even happened yet, that might not even happen um, and that can be quite tough. It can be so difficult thinking about all of these things that again may not even happen. When they do happen, if they do, if they don't, cross that bridge when you come to it. In the meantime, stay present. And we're gonna talk about that now. So let's talk about that. How do you focus on the things you can control? What does that look like? What is that? So like I said, it's very normal to have these sort of feelings. And, and I'm gonna take an example and use that to kind of explain it to you guys. Say a competition. So my wheelchair fencing competitions are coming up. And occasionally when I'm at the competitions, I get really worried about, you know, will I win this match? Am I gonna fence well? You know, will I beat that person? Am I gonna feel good on the day? All of those things are out of my control. And it's so easy to get really, really focused on all of those things and get, you know, absolutely blasted by your mind and just be in an absolute whirlwind of like, what if happens? What if that happens? This bad thing can happen. You know, and it really takes you out of the moment. And with fencing especially, I want to be in the moment. I want to be focused. I want to be present. Also because I enjoy it and I love it and I want to be there. That's not to say that it's not usual and not normal and bad to feel things, you know, like, oh, I want to win this. So what if I don't win this? Because they're, they're normal things. I get that so much when I'm about to get onto a piece and think, I really want to win this fight. And it's not about... You know, I, although I have no control of that, it's not about just, oh, I can't think about this, I shouldn't think about them punishing yourself for it. It's about acknowledging that, thinking, yeah, you know what? Anyone in my position would be sat here wanting to win this fight. That's a really normal way to be thinking. That's okay. I feel like I want to win the fight. Okay, acknowledge it and next. And not punishing yourself for feeling these ways, I think is also really, really important. And as much as possible, try and forget the things and, and let go of the things that you can't control and just focus intently on the things you can because if you do manage to focus on the things you can control then that's all you can do that's that's you know all the actual things that you know putting yourself in the best possible position to succeed or to nail that interview or to win that fight you've focused on those things and that's pretty much all you can ask of yourself i think it's so easy to, to worry about all the things that are out of your control, but at the end of the day, they are out of your control and there's nothing you can really do about those things. And worrying isn't going to make them better. Just believe in yourself that you've done everything you can and focus on what you can have an impact on. I think, again, having, having all of those things uh, done correctly having, making, you know, I know for certain when I get on peace and I know that I've got my, all my kit is there, I've drunk enough water, I've trained hard up until this moment, I woke up, had a good breakfast, had a good sleep, and I'm on the peace early, ready to go. I focus on everything, I've done everything, I've ticked off, I've ticked all those boxes, I've done that list. I am as ready as I can be and it gives me confidence to know that I've done everything I can to make sure that I can perform as well as I can. Will I perform as well as I can? 
I don't know, maybe not. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. But focusing and just getting everything else, all the, all the variables locked down, actually gives you a lot of peace of mind and a lot of confidence in yourself to know that you have done the best you can do to get into the position. And now the rest of it, you know, the cards fall as they may, or the dice fall as they may, or just things happen as they happen. You know, you know what I'm trying to say. Another example of this is the lockdown at the moment. This, uh, the coronavirus lockdown, I'm in the UK at the moment, and it's so easy to worry about things. And worry, for, exa for example, when will this be over? You know, how much longer are we gonna have to stay inside? How much longer until I can get back to my daily routine and training? Will I, will I get sick? Will I, will I catch the virus? And what will happen if I catch that? And will it be bad? And am I gonna be okay? And what about my loved ones? Again, normal. To worry about. They're not, again, things that I can control. I realistically can't control when we come out of the lockdown. I can't control when I can get back to training and I can't control if I catch the virus. Um, but taking this back to the things that I can control, instead I try and focus on those things such as practicing good hygiene and making sure that I wash my hands and don't touch my face. Those are things that I can control which minimize my risk of getting the virus making sure that I drink enough water during the day and I eat healthy and generally I keep my body in good shape while I'm in lockdown. Those are things that I can, again, focus on, making sure I'm getting enough sleep and that I'm filling my day doing things that I like doing and, you know, doing YouTube with you guys and, and, and getting back to a couple of those passions. Those are things that I can focus on that make me, you know, enjoy my time a little bit better and make me actually live in the moment rather than taking my mind somewhere else and thinking about what ifs, you know? And to take this on a little bit more of a deeper level, um, something that I do, especially when I'm fencing and things, when, I, when I'm getting nervous, maybe, you know, before a job interview or something like that, um, that I find very, very helpful to bring myself back into the moment because, again, the aim of the game is to bring yourself back to the present because thinking about things in the future, thinking about things in the past, that's when it can be so easy to be stressed and to be nervous and to be anxious. So what I try and do is, if I've maybe focused on all, you know, having my kit, being on time, all those things, I'm still feeling very nervous. I just try and take in the environment around me and, and my current situation, you know, what do I feel? Can I listen to my breathing? How fast is my heart going? What can I smell? Do my legs feel a bit wobbly because I'm a bit nervous? Again, that's okay. Do I feel it in my stomach? You know, am I hungry? All those things and just, Focusing on how I'm feeling in that moment, what I'm smelling, all my senses, actually really helps ground me and bring me back to that present second. Which, if you do it well enough, and if you manage to actually bring yourself to be thinking only about your current moment, then it's gonna be impossible to think about all the other things and to worry and to be stressed. That's just something that I try and do. Again, it's not something that is very, you know, this is how you do it and if you do it correctly, it will fix you. It's not the case. Everyone is different and this is just something that works for me and sometimes I try those things and it doesn't work and I still end up feeling really nervous but it's just something that I try and do, a process that I try and stick to as much as possible. Maybe you guys would be interested in giving it a go. I hope that's been useful. I hope um, this has been a kind of constructive, helpful video. I don't want to make it too long so I'm going to round it off there but if there's any other questions you guys have, chuck them down in the comments. And uh, like I said, Q&A next week, so all the questions will be answered. Questions and answers with me, your host, me. See you guys later. <laughs>